Marketing and advertising can be complicated. complicated. What's most important? What should I focus on? Direct marketing? Email campaign? Social media? Cold calling. With Marketing Atlas, you'll have a clear guide to get more leads, close more sales, and take your business to the next level. Welcome to Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. With your host, Hernan Vasquez. So here are two of the biggest myths that are destroying your Facebook ads performance and what you can do to avoid them. Today, we're gonna talk about some myths that I keep on hearing when people are either not having results with their Facebook ads campaigns or they wanna have better results, but they don't know how, or they're even afraid of launching Facebook ads campaigns because they're believing these two myths. And I wanna share with you guys why they are myths and why you should do to avoid them. Now, the first myth, that comes up a lot is my client is not on Facebook. My client is not on Facebook. And that's a big myth. That's a big lie because everyone has a Facebook ad account. Every single person, for the most part, in the world, they have a Facebook ad account. And your client, they are on Facebook. It doesn't matter who you're targeting. If you're targeting stay-at-home moms, or if you're targeting high-level executives, if you're targeting entrepreneurs, business owners, if you're targeting chiropractors, engineers, it doesn't matter. They have a Facebook account and you're able to target them if you know how to do it. For instance, yesterday I was talking to a potential agency client and we were discussing about this event that he has coming up and he's targeting digital marketers, info product, publishers, personal brands that are making at least $500,000 a year. And if you think about it, that's kind of hard to achieve with native Facebook targeting. But what we advise upon when we're having this conversation, when we're having this call, is to use something called third-party data. So third-party data allows you to actually go ahead and target these people, target chiropractors, consultants, executives, and whatnot. In fact, at scaledriven.com, all of our clients, or most of our clients, I would say, 90% of our clients are business-to-business -business companies. When I was working with as a CMO for Frank Kern. I then want to be marketing director for Grant Cardone. And guess what? These brands are targeting business owners. We're targeting entrepreneurs, right? So when it comes to B2B, when it comes to the right type of campaign, the targeting is there. You just need to know how to use it. And for that, we use a lot of third-party data, all right? So if you have a B2B offer, or if you have a high ticket offer, and you wanna see how we can potentially help you scale on performance, you want to go to scalejriven.com and schedule a call with us, all right? Because that's what we're doing. We are targeting B2B people on Facebook. That's myth number one. Myth number two that I hear a lot is the quality of the leads that I get on Facebook, it's really low. The quality of the leads that I get on Facebook is really low. People don't have any money. They're broke. They don't have the means to pay me, and all of those things. And how do you fix this is, as I mentioned, number one is targeting, but there's additional two things that you want to consider when it comes to fixing the quality of the people that are coming your way. For example, we uh, just took a new client and they do high-end window installments and installations, right? And of course, they want to target homeowners. They want to target people with money because these are high-end installations. And they were paying a lot per lead. They were paying close to $1,000 to $2,000 per lead. Of course, it was worth to them because their installations are worth tens of thousands of dollars. So it's worth to them, you know, just to pay, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks for to get a new client. However, we took over at scaledriven.com, we took over and they started paying $80 per lead. Qualified leads, okay? People that are really qualified and willing to buy their service. What was the difference? Well, I'm about to tell you what the two things that we did to get this type of results. Number one, as I already mentioned, is targeting. Number two is what are you saying in your ads? What you're saying in your ads, both in your video ads, in your copy, in your images, it matters a lot. In fact, you want it to be as disqualifying as possible for people that are not in your target market versus people that you want to attract. So your copy needs to magnetize people that are looking for what you have to offer and it needs to repel people that are not in your target demographic or your target area. Okay. And the way you do this is simply by adding copy that is repellent to them. For example, if you're saying, I want to target 
entrepreneurs that are making at least half a million a year, then that's exactly what you need to say on the ads. Hey, if you are an entrepreneur making at least half a million a year, here's some good news. Okay. So that's number one. And number three, the way you increase the quality of the leads that you get, and this is something that I talked about repeatedly on the YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Facebook ads as well, and on the podcast and marketing atlas. And one of the things that I keep on saying is you need to get people and you need to make potential leads and customers jump through hoops, not even when they land on your website, but even before they land on your website. Before they land on your website, they need to be consuming content. And once they land on your website, you don't want to talk to everyone. You don't want to talk to just every single person that comes your way. You want to talk to really specific people, right? You want to talk to people that have, that are willing and able to buy your services or products. That means that they have the means, but they also, they want to, because they might want to, but they might not have the finances to do it. So how do you do that? Well, you do that by making them jump through the hoops, by pre-qualifying them. We recently onboarded a new client. She's a, a spiritual coach and she has high ticket products. She's crushing on, on Facebook Messenger and she was doing a lot of manual work there, right? Because she needed to pre-qualify a lot of people before they even talked to her. So what we did is we deploy a chatbot sequence to pre-qualify people before they even talk to her. So that allows us to A, increase the volume because you don't need a human being actually chatting with all those folks. You only chat with people that are qualified. Right. And it, it allows us to get her more volume into her programs. We're also developing some additional funnels for her. But the main point is that if you combine targeting with right messaging, with the right type of funnel, meaning making people jump through hoops, then those two things that people are saying, my client is not on Facebook and I cannot get the right type of people to talk to us. They're all broke. They'll go away. They'll go away and, you know, I'm telling you this based on experience working with some of the biggest names in the industries. And guess what? These guys, they don't have e-commerce brands. They're not targeting everyone. They're targeting business owners, right? We're targeting business owners, agency owners. We're targeting people that are servicing businesses. So heavily based on B2B and this is the experience that we have, all right? So if you have a B2B offer, if you have a high ticket offer, if you're a coach, consultant, info product publisher, if you have a personal brand, if you're an educator, facilitator, and the offer is working for you, but you want more volume, this and next year, go to scaledriven.com and schedule a call with us. We'll see if we're a good fit. Right now we're offering performance only agreements, meaning that we don't charge any monthly retainers. We don't charge any percentage of ad spend. We just charge a percentage of whatever we bring to the table. So if that sounds interesting to you to discuss it and see if we will be a good fit, go to scaledriven.com and schedule a call because there might be a chance that we will be a good fit. And again, we don't charge any monthly retainers any monthly anything, okay? We only win and get paid if you win. So we're heavily incentivized to make you win as much as possible. We only charge a percentage of what we help you bring to the table, which is pretty cool. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.